What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your domain.com domain name to your Shopify store. So if you went and bought a domain name on domain.com, I'll show you how to use it on your Shopify store so that when visitors actually enter this domain name, they'll be redirected to your Shopify store. So let's get right to it. First of all, here, as you can see, I'm signed into my Shopify store and I created like a test, a new test store just to show you the process. And also I'm signed into my domain.com account and I already purchased a domain. So here, first of all, in your Shopify store homepage, you need to go to settings right here in the menu on the left. And then from this menu, you want to go to domains here. So click on domains and as you can see i already uh, like have a domain name connected from another uh, provider however to uh, connect a new domain name this is the domain name that i purchased on domain.com you have here three options so you can connect an existing domain so um, a domain that you purchased from a, another uh, name uh, domain name provider such as domain.com or godaddy or hostinger or others or you can buy a new domain name from within a Shopify store or you can transfer your already existing domain name. So uh, for this video, we want to connect a domain name that we bought. So click here on connect existing domain. And here you want to enter the domain name that you purchased. So we'll go to domain.com. I'll go to uh, my account. Here I'm signed into my account and I'm on the domains tab. And as you can see here, I have a domain name uh, purchased. That's how to simple dot space. So I'll copy it and then paste it right here. Or you can just type it if you uh, already memorized it and click on next. And here it uh, asks you to uh, follow these settings or these steps to uh, connect your domain. So I'll just click here to follow settings instructions. It'll open a new tab where it'll give you some instructions on how to uh, connect your domain name. So let's close it. You can go ahead and read it if you uh, want to like uh, know how to do it. So uh, for this, let's close it right now. And now uh, let's here uh, verify, click on verify connection. And of course, it's not verified because we need to add these custom records or custom uh, data to uh, our domain.com domain so and these custom records so you have two records here that's an a record and a c name uh, record uh, i'll show you how to enter them in a second so however basically these uh, two records are uh, like the link that link your shopify store to uh, your domain name so that when someone enters your domain name in the address bar on the browser your uh, Shopify will uh, Shopify store sorry will open because they are linked. So these uh, two records are like as I told you uh, what links your Shopify store to your domain name. So you must make sure to uh, add the values correctly, and they even help you here and they uh, let you copy the uh, record names and values to uh, enter them correctly on your uh, domain.com like DNS records or uh, settings or domain settings uh, page. To do that, we'll go to domain.com and here we'll go to our domain name, click on manage. So this is the page where you'll manage your domain uh, name and all the information and settings uh, uh, regarding it so here you can see here like a summary or an overview of the basic uh, domain settings now what you want to do is add the uh, dns domain records or the dns records sorry to uh, your domain.com that are provided by your shopify store so to do that just go here to the menu on the left here you see summary builders email security and advanced and under advanced you have here dns name servers so you want to click here on dns name servers and you'll get the uh, name servers and dns settings so here you have name servers you have private uh, name servers you have dns records and you have connected apps and websites now if we go back to our shopify store we here uh, have these two values so that's an a record uh, name and a c name record so a uh, two records so here we'll go ahead and uh, enter the first one so that's an a record go ahead to domain.com and here we want to go to dns records okay add dns record and now the type will be an a record because uh, this one this first one is an a record 
okay and now you want to uh, copy the name that's at copy it and then paste it right here and then paste it here in the name so or just type it so now there is the uh, current IP address that's we'll leave it empty and here we have a required value uh, let's copy it go back to domain.com and then here uh, the domain in the IP or the required let's paste it here and then click on add DNS and you have the TTL just leave it uh, as default okay it's taking some time to uh, load up and add the dns record maybe there's uh, like an error or a bug on the website however that's the way to add the dns record so um you need to wait for uh, this uh, like process to load up and for the dns record to be added to your page and uh, for now just for the sake of this video uh, because i don't want to wait any longer i'll just uh, refresh this page Okay, go back to DNS records and um, as I thought the DNS record is not added so maybe there is something wrong with the uh, page or the website however let's proceed so I'll add another DNS record and this time it'll be a CNAME record so the name is www so copy the name paste it right here and now select the type now it's a CNAME record and let's go back to Shopify, the required value, let's copy it, go back to domain, so the content, we'll paste it right here, and the TTL, uh, we'll leave it as it is, uh, also, click on add DNS, and um, looks like it is still, like, uh, loading, so... I don't know what is wrong so however basically you'll need to wait for it to load up and once the two uh, record two dns records are added here the a record and the c name record are added uh, successfully to your dns page on your domain.com uh, like website right here you should be good to go and uh, once they do just click on verify connection and uh, your connection will be verified and your Shopify store will be connected to uh, this domain that you bought on domain.com. So in this case, that's howtosample.tech. However, you should note that it might take uh, some a couple of hours or maybe a day or two at max to uh, verify the connection or continue or finish verifying the connection and for your website to go live or for your Shopify store to go live on the domain name that you connected it to. So uh, that's basically it. That's basically how easy it is to connect your Shopify store to a custom domain that you bought on domain.com.